It's more than password, it's password plus. Our guests are Marshall Wallace and from Days of Our Lives, Wesley York. And here's the star of Password Plus, Alan Lundin. Happy Valentine's Day. Be my Valentine. Oh, you got a Valentine dress on. Yes. Strawberries. Strawberries and cherries, my fruit dress. Happy, <laughs> happy Valentine, wherever you are. Being Valentine's Day, I suppose we'll sort of have to... Be friends. End the grudge. Do you have a little poem or anything you'd like to say for Valentine's Day? Oh, absolutely not. Oh, not? You don't oh. have a poem or anything? Yes, roses are red, violets are blue. If she beats me, I'll smack you, too. <laughs> Me too. What do you think? Wesley, don't give up your day job, dear. All right. Okay. Let's meet our current players, Steve Faber and Sylvia Fortenberry. Okay. All right. That's looking signal, though. Steve's our champion. He has five thousand three hundred dollars. Tell us about yourself, Steve. Okay. I'm married. I'm a father of a three-year-old boy who was the first baby born in Los Angeles in 1977. Oh, really? Stroke of midnight, New Year's Eve. Would you like to say hello to him? Hello, Ryan. Oh, right there, in that camera. Follow. Oh, there he is. Yes. Hello, there Ryan. Is. Yeah. Sorry, Cookie Monster couldn't be here. I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing pretty well, I must say. Thank you, you very much. You won the first game. Now, this is a very tight competition. This lady over here is Sylvia Fortenberry. Tell us about yourself. I'm from Oakland, California. I'm the mother of uh, some 11-month-old twins. Not some 11-month-old twins. A pair of 11-month-old twin ah. girls, Kristen and Melissa. I am married, and I'm a secretary for a union. Well, very good to have you here. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. Let's begin our Valentine's Day competition. I'm All surprised friends. you're not going to remind America again how many games I've lost. Before. Oh, I wouldn't remind it. Wesley's won four, and you've only won one. So deceptive. <laughs> so deceptive. All right. But Wesley has the option. Okay. What are you going to do? Uh, I'll pass. Okay. See what he does? Helium balloon. Oh. Very good, Steve. All right. Steve, first clue in the puzzle is balloon. What do you think the answer is? Oh, I'll think about a big balloon and say uh, the Hindenburg. Is it the Hindenburg? <clears throat> All right. Hot air would have been a better one for you. Uh, oh. Two words. All right. Marsha, your option. I think I better pass. Okay, Wesley. Jules. Um. Too long. All right. Second clue. Writer. Writer. Vern. Yes. 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 Jules Vern. Steve. Yes. Now you have balloon and Vern up there. First puzzle. What do you think the answer is? Okay. Jules Vern wrote a novel about a balloon going around the world in 80 days. <laughs> and that's what I think it is. Is it around the world in 80 days? Yes! Oh, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Niven. David Niven. He made a bet, and that was the theme of the movie, written by Jules Verne, as you said. All right. They start out with $100 over here, Sylvia, but it takes three to win, and you'll have the option when we come back after this commercial. We'll be right here. There you go. Steve and Sylvia give the clues this time. Sylvia has the option. This is the second puzzle. There's the first clue on it. What are you going to do, Sylvia? I'm going to pass. Okay, Steve. She gave it to you. Lovers. Leap. What did you say? Leap. Well, don't look at me like I'm some sort of twit. <laughs> there is a lover's leap in life. I know, I know. It's such a kind of a gruesome way to look at it, but oh, it's all right. Well, that, honey, that's where my love life goes. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. All right. Sylvia, second clue. Walk way. Lane. Lane. Yeah, that was the other one. <laughs> yeah, All right, Wesley. First clue of the puzzle is Lane. What do you think? Uh, it's Superman. Is it Superman? Why did you say that? Well, because of Lois Lane, I think. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sylvia, you have the option again. What are you going to do? I'm going to play. Go ahead. Clark. Kent. Yes. Okay. All right, Wesley, you got two clues up there, Lane and Kent. What do you think? Um, 
The Daily Planet. Is it The Daily Planet? No. Ah. Uh, All right. Huh. Help. Sylvia's option. I'm gonna pass. Okay, Steve. Jimmy. Oh, what's his name? Olsen. Yes. Right. Oh, very good. Oh, boy. All right, now you have three clues up there. Lane, Kent, and Olsen. Well, if it's not the Daily Planet, it's got to be Superman. Is it Superman? No. I said Superman. No, you didn't. No, you said Daily Planet. No, I said first time for Lois Lane. Oh, you did? Yes, yeah. that's why. That's where well, you I'm heard really it. Well, I'm really dumb, then. Yeah, it was kind of... She always steals my answers. All right. All right. You said twit. All right. Twit. Steve, your option. I'll play. Go. Oh. Tabloid. Newspaper. All right. Marsha. Well, honey... Lane Kent Olson newspaper. The Daily Planet. He's, he's okay. Said... Can I do it again then? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Is it the Daily Planet? No, we've heard that before. All right. It's not Superman. Nope. Steve. I'll play. Okay. Geronimo. Leap. <laughs> You're really into leaping, aren't you? Oh, Sylvia. Leader. Chief. Chief. All right. Now, Wesley, you can tie up the game. You have Lane Campbell's the newspaper and Chief. Well, it's got to be the head of the newspaper. It's Perry White. Is it Perry White? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that then. Yes. <laughs> All right, it's tied up. It's tied up. We have a hundred over here. We have a hundred over here. I have a two hundred dollar puzzle right here, and you're gonna have the option. Okay. Okay. Whoever gets this one wins the game. Don't cry, honey. It's Valentine's. Okay. All right. Pass or play. Uh, I'll play. Okay. Creek. Stream. You want to look your card again? Okay. Oh, what did you say? Creek. You said creek. All right, second clue. Mouse. Squeak. Squeak. All right. <laughs> Sylvia. First clue in the puzzle is for the game. Squeak. What do you think? Rocking chair. Is it a rocking chair? No. All right, Wesley's option. Pass or play, Wes? I'll play. Go. Hug. Squeeze. Right! <laughs> All right, Sylvia, two clues. Squeak and squeeze. For the game. For the game. What do you think? No guess. All right, but Wes keeps the option. What are you going to do? I'll play. Go. Boyan. Float? Yes! <laughs> good clue, though. You gotta give him that. That was a good clue. For the game, squeak, squeeze, and float. Sylvia? A boat? Is it a boat? I have a wild idea. Do you have an idea? Do you have an well, idea? Well, yeah, but we all know where my idea is. <laughs> Do you have an idea? No. Oh, I have a wild idea. I don't know what the next one is. Do you have it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Easy for you. <laughs> Wesley has the option. Pass or play, Wesley? Uh, play. Okay. Duck! Quack! <laughs> for the game! For the game! Squeak, squeeze, float, and quack. What is it, Sylvia? A rubber duck? Is it a rubber duck? Yeah. Yeah. That's the way the cookie goes, as they say. All right, I got the idea that it was a rubber duck only on the third one, I must say. And I thought they couldn't oh. possibly do rubber duck. But they did <laughs> rubber duck. All right, Steve, you have $5,400. You've been a good player. Thank and that's you. the way the cookie crumbles, as I they say. I appreciate it. Okay, you're going to stay seated right here. We're all going to have a commercial. And we're going to come back, and they're going to play the alphabetics. We'll be right back. Sylvia, 
Now, before we go into the alphabetics here, really tell us, every night you bathe the twins, right? Mm -hmm. And what do you have in the tub? Rubber duck. Do you really have a rubber duck? Little orange rubber ducks. They each have one. Each have an orange rubber duck. Mm -hmm. So you, you knew what that... When did you get the puzzle? When did you... Uh, when he said... Uh, duck! Yes. Duck. <laughs> you got it. Okay. I got it there. All right. All right. Now, here you have a chance at $5,000, and you have some very good plans for that money, right? Yes, I do. You'd like to get it. Yes. We would like very much for you to get it. Now, you have 10 passwords up here. They're arranged alphabetically. They start with B, okay. and they go all the way through to K. Get 10 in 60 seconds, and you have that $5,000. Okay. As I say, we'd like to give it to you. You know how to play. What's the first word start with? B. B. Ready? There's the first word. Hmm. Okay. Got two clues? Mm -hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. You know how to go? Mm-hmm. Want to do this? You got it, Toyo. Okay, 60 seconds. Good luck to you both. Go! Rodeo. A horse. Bounce. Rider. Pass. Uh, DC. Uh, uh, add. Calculate. Um, prince. Cash. Prince. Uh, king. P go on. Count. D. Uh, gown. Dressing. All right, E. Uh, assimilate. Chew. Eat. F. Oil. Pass. Cook. Fry. G. Uh, Vicksburg. Clue. Town. Gettysburg. H. Uh, hotel. Hilton. I. Uh, quick. Pick clue. Camera. Instamatic. Instant? A J. Uh, prison. Jail. K. Uh, frog. Kermit. A B. A uh, horse. Oh. <laughs> Bucking. Oh. Bucking. Bronco. Bucking Bronco. All I was a cowboy. Bronco. Bronco was the first word, and that was a hard one. Was that the only one she missed? Yeah. Yes. All right. You picked up $900, and you have a total of $1,200. Oh, thank you. Very good. It's okay. It's Bronco okay. is a hard word, and that kind of stopped you at the start. But considering that stop at the start, you did very well. Now, we're going to go right back and play again. You're going to be with Marsha. Let's go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's meet this new lady. Her name is Donna Robinson. Come in, Donna. Well, you're a regular Richard Dawson, aren't you? Hey. All right. Okay. I take what I can get. You yeah, know. I know. I don't blame you. All right. Donna, tell us about yourself. I'm a teacher. My husband's a pilot. We have a little boy who's almost two, and we just moved to San Luis Obispo from Hawaii. Good. You want to say hello to your little boy? Hello, Nicholas. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Begin the competition. What, how does it stand now, Marsha? Oh, I don't believe I know, Alan. I don't either. I, have so no... I think it's pretty much even. It's tied. Wasn't I... it five to one? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so. Six or seven, <laughs> eight? Oh. Here we go, Wesley's option. Five, five to one. <laughs> right. Misleading, America, misleading. <laughs> All right, Wesley, pass or play? Uh, I'll play. Okay. Pebble. Stone. Second clue, Marcia. Stone, rock. Right. Sylvia, first clue in the puzzle is rock. What do you think? Disco. Is it disco? Not disco, but Marcia has the option. Pass or play, Marcia? I'll play. Go. Rock, roll. Ooh, second clue. Pebbles. Stone. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, they do it. All right. Oh, I didn't even throw in on you. They do that very often. Okay, now we have rock and stones up there, Donna. I guess. Yes, you guess. Is it Mick Jagger? Yes. Is it yes. Mick Jagger? Yes! Oh, I knew it! Yes! Stones, of course. He is the leader. He's British. He is a singer. If you don't care what you say. All right, here we go. What? Oh, I have a commercial. I didn't mean to make it. There are those who think Mick Jagger sings just fine. I think you sing better. Oh, All right, we have a commercial. We'll be right back. We have a very fine studio audience here, and I have detected, Wesley, that the audience has moved its sympathies over pretty clearly over to her. Because I'm an older person. Yes. <laughs> so, Wesley, you don't mind. Uh, any, uh, who would like hey. to see Marsha win this game? Definitely me. <laughs> Excuse me. And who would like to see Wesley win this game? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Wesley, sit down. All right. 
Wesley's ahead, oh. but Sylvia has the option this time. Sylvia. You didn't ask Donna what she thought. Donna wants you to win. All right. <laughs> Sylvia, what are you going to do? Pass or play? I'll try it. Go ahead. Prompt? Quick. Second clue. <clears throat> Morning. Early. Yes! <laughs> Very good. Yeah, yeah. Wes, first clue in the puzzle is early. Early. Um, I, I have no idea. No, no guess. All right, no. but it gives Donna the option. Here we go. There you go, Sylvia. Pass or play, Donna? I'll play. Go ahead. Monday. Tuesday. Second clue, Sylvia. Tuesday? Day. Yes. Ah. All right, Marcia. Now. Two clues up there, early and day. Uh, breakfast? Is it breakfast? Mm. No, but the option goes over here. Sylvia has it. Pass or play, Sylvia? Pass. Okay, Donna. Sign. Zodiac. Second clue, Sylvia. Feelings. Failings? Feelings. Uh, thermometer. Second clue. Third clue, Donna. Disease. Temperature. Last clue, Sylvia. Feeling. Uh, health. No, I'm going to put it up, but I'm going to tell you something. You know, you know what, what do you think it is? Pain. No. no. As long as I've been doing this game, and it's been 19 years, I have never seen this word on password. Isn't this the first time we've ever used this word? Yes. I think it is. First time we've ever used it. All right, the first time I can think of ever seen The word is symptom. Oh. Symptom goes up. Nobody guesses. Try that one at home. Try that one at home. Keeps you over here, Sylvia, with the option. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to play. Go ahead. Um, oh, no, she gets too I know it too. All right, one clue. I know what it one is. Clue. One clue, oh, Donna. Expecting. Pregnant. Yes. Oh, I couldn't. I got it. Oh. It's out. I was thinking about it. got it Oh, all right. Now, you have three clues up there. Early day, symptom, and pregnant. It's something I have. Well, you can guess. I yeah. guess. It's yeah. something I have all the time. It's yeah. uh, morning sickness. Oh. <laughs> I found out more about you than I wanted to <laughs> Is it morning sickness? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you knew. Yeah. Yeah. No, you couldn't go ahead without the clue. I knew, even I knew pregnant. All right, how long has it been since you were pregnant, Sylvia? 11, 11 months. months. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Move right along. We have a 200 over here, $200 puzzle. You can tie it, you can win. Marsha's option. Pass or play? Oh, me? Yes. Pass. Okay, Wesley. Barty. Billy? Yes! <laughs> Don't pass to me. <laughs> you can't die. Right, first clue in the puzzle for the game, Donna, is Billy. Um, is it the Carters? Is it the Carters? <laughs> no, but Wesley has the option. Here you go. Pass or play? Uh, I'll play. Go. Go T. Beard. Yes! Donna, two clues, Billy and Beard. For the game, Donna, what is it? Is it a goat? Is it a goat? Is it a goat? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have to say goodbye to you, but we do so with $1,200. <laughs> Congratulations, Donna. You're going to play the alphabetics right at this commercial. We'll be right back. I must tell you, it was very interesting playing. You'll never forget pregnant, will you? Oh, no. Okay. Marcia, you've been such a good sport about all this. I think I, you, you've really been... I'm a, a terrible sport. <laughs> but I love the way you, you're a terrible sport with a lot of fun. I am. Yes, you are. And my young man, you are doing very well. You said and it. young lady, you know what you're going to do the first thing tomorrow? You're going to play alphabetics. Mm -hmm. So have a good evening. Have a good Valentine's Day. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. The password today is Valentine. May I make a suggestion? Why don't you make it a point to let those that you love know how you feel about them? 
Make it a point today to be yourself a real Valentine. It's a great day. Let's show Oh, that's so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Some of our contestants will receive the Kodak Colorburst 250 instant camera with built-in electronic flash. Bright, brilliant color by Kodak develops right before your eyes. Czar, easy to use. Wood stain comes up beautifully. Make no mistake about it. Use Czar, wood finishing products from UGL. Tree Top, America's favorite frozen apple juice. It's 100% pure juice, no artificial ingredients, no sugar added. Boraxo, waterless and powdered hand cleaners. They take on the dirtiest hands, tough but gentle. Boraxo cleans all hands in the family. Wear Playtex living gloves every day for any household chore to protect your beautiful hands. They make your hands look like they never do housework. Playtex. <laughs> this is Gene Wood speaking for Password Plus. Amart Goodson, Bill Tugman Productions.